Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Gamer Center Com video, we're going to be kicking off a new series. That's right, we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to be discussing silly, this could be funny, these can just be absolutely ludicrous and stupid, tales of tech woes. I haven't actually created a name for this yet, I'll grant you. Now, I'm going to be kicking things off maybe over the next week or two, um, and then I encourage you, yes you, to send in your absolutely ridiculous things that have happened to you in IT. So you could be a member of support, it could be a helping your brother, it could be something stupid that you've done, or whatever. Um, just, you know, email it to us. So you can email it at stories, S-T-O-R-I-E-S, at Red Gaming Tech. Now I'm going to tell you a couple of stories that have happened to me. A couple of funny. One is not really funny, it's just absolutely ludicrous and ridiculous that a company manage this. And I'm going to start out with the ludicrous one first. As I said, not that funny, just absolutely ridiculous. So I was working for a while in London. I was a contractor and I started out contracting as more a content creator. So basically this putting out social media posts, uh, doing a bit of writing, and obviously I had no administrator rights. So there were two people um, that are responsible for the IT concerns of the company. One is an outside contractor, I'm going to call him Person B, and another person who is internal, he is Person A. Person A actually hires me, by the way. So, uh, Person A starts things off, and he, you know, he's basically doing the day-to-day basic stuff of the company, plus also producing things such as, I don't know, um, uh, Google Analytics reports and, uh, you know, Facebook reports and engagements of, uh, you know, what they're spending money on for PPC, whatever. And other basic things like, uh, I don't know, the printers stop working help. So the outside contractor does more complex stuff. You have him doing things like, I don't know, WordPress needs a different plugin and he would make sure that that plugin is compatible with that version. He would do backups of the website. He would um, make, you know, major changes to the website, update the theme or whatever. So, as I said, none of that is particularly complex, but it was also things such as disaster recovery and whatever. To be honest, I think most of you could probably do both of those jobs. Anyway, that's beside the point. I start out, as I said, um, and I'm there for about two, maybe three months. I'm going to say three. Person A is then fired because he's cooking the analytics books, if you will. I won't go into the details of that, but you can essentially imagine what that, that is like. He's basically just, uh, well, fudging the reports. Anyway, I get called in to the office by both uh, the bosses, and, I, and they said, Paul, would you consider taking on these responsibilities? Do you think you can do them? I said, sure, fine, whatever. And they said, okay, well, can you do that on top of um, your other responsibilities? I said, no, we're going to have to get someone else in for that uh, in the long term, but sure, in the short term, I can do that. Okay, they walk away happy. Uh, I am kind of left like, well, okay, the guy who hired me got fired, but whatever, I'm getting a small pay increase, and that's about it. So, remember, I don't have the administrator passwords yet, so I email person B and tell him what's happened. He already knew, knows this anyway, because obviously he was informed way ahead of time, probably before I was, to be honest, what the state of affairs were. And he said, Paul, don't worry, I'm going to get you the updated passwords as soon as possible. I've got to do some due diligence first, make sure, you know, that uh, the other person didn't have, like, any, uh, you know, hidden administrator accounts or whatever. You get the idea. So I said, cool, absolutely fine. So I'm waiting a couple of days, hear nothing. It's Friday at this point. Uh, oh, sorry, it's my last day of work at this point. Whatever, let's resume this on Monday. Monday, email him. Sorry, I haven't actually had time. Don't worry, I'll get around to it as soon as possible. Okay. Anyway, this continues for about two more weeks. No, no joke, two more weeks. And this is not me just, you know, leaving things alone. This is me trying to hound the guy every other day. Eventually, uh, one of the bosses, who doesn't really take much nonsense, to be fair to the guy, said, you either get Paul the passwords today, or we're going to basically let you go. Uh, so, amazingly, the passwords appear in my inbox. Problem. They are not changed at all. None of them. Zero. Nilch. So, I'm like, what the hell? Um, are these the original passwords? Now, at the start, I don't think anything of it because obviously I did not have the administrator passwords anyway. So obviously I didn't know what those were. 
But some of the other accounts have not been changed that I did know access to. So, for example, um, Facebook and other bits and pieces. So I was like, okay, well, maybe those hadn't been updated because, um, you know, they, they, they just, that, you know, they, they, uh, they wanted to make sure that everyone had access to those and it would be done at a later date and he's just not gotten around to it. Anyway, I, I continue to look through and I realized no, the password had, none of the passwords, nothing had been changed. Absolutely zero. So the first thing I did is, of course, uh, contact him and said, dude, what the hell? Obviously not quite with those words. I used professionalism. And I said, uh, excuse me, um, why are none of the passwords changed? He said, actually, I just didn't get around to that. But, you know, I've done everything else. Okay, well, it's not like administrator stuff is too important, to be fair. I mean, what can you do as, like, you know, administrator for, like, the work, the, the website's database or client reports? And certainly no particular damage can be done. So at least that's nothing, right? Awesome. <sighs> anyway, I changed those passwords, muttering and swearing profusely under my breath. A couple of days... Sorry, a couple of hours later... I message him again and say, are you absolutely sure you double-checked everything? This is like almost at the end of the day now. Um, and this is like, once again, almost at the weekend. So he said, yes, absolutely, I've done everything. Anyway, come, go home. Don't really think of anything of it. Monday, the next week, uh, we get an emergency with something else and something else pops up. And it goes to about the Wednesday of that week. And I just like, I've got just a niggling feeling. You know when something's just bugging you? And I just think, hmm, okay, you know what? I've got like half an hour of not doing anything else. I'm just going to quickly go in, look at some admin accounts, make sure that nothing's funny, and that's it. So I go in, and yeah, there was an admin account that was unaccounted for, and I did notice it was person um, A, in other words, the person who'd got fired. I had noticed it was his personal account, but that doesn't mean much, right? That's not really a smoking gun. It could be that he and the other person both forgot to delete it. These things happen. Things do slip through the cracks all of the time. So I deleted it, and I just thought, okay, I'm just going to very quickly check the email situation just to make sure that, you know, that their account has been deactivated and forwarded to the correct address, and that's it. So basically, all I was going to do was go in, make sure the forward had now been set up to my account in the short term, and then we can go from there. So I went in. Yup, that forward had been set up. Okay, cool. Then I just noticed something weird. A couple of other accounts had also forwards set up, but they were to an account that was just a bit odd. It was something like, um, uh, I think it was emails or something like that at the company's address. And I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. I don't remember that. I, I'm sure no one. So I quickly asked a couple of the... Um, you know, people around me, like, do, does anyone know if this address is ever used? No. So, I, okay, I do a bit more digging. Go, I'm not starting to now go through all the um, exchange stuff. So I'm, I'm looking through, like, uh, both online exchange and the website stuff and just looking through all of these email accounts. And obviously, it's a company, so there's quite a few people working there. Yep. What I notice is that the sales individuals, the bosses, the, the editor... Uh, and a couple of other accounts as well, all had, uh, oh, by the way, including person B, the uh, the contractor, all had email address that was forwarding to email at the company's name. So I'm like, what the hell? So I then go into that email address and start doing some digging. And it, it is an inbox, but it's also forwarded. So I'm once again doing a bit more digging, and I realise that this email address is then forwarded to another email address once again on the company server so i'm like what the hell like what why are there so many email addresses being forwarded to another email address who are being forwarded to another email address it's ridiculous so i then go to the other email address and this one is something like um backups or something like that at the company's address so i'm like what the hell anyway at this point i realize that that had been actually forwarded to the fired individual. In short, he had essentially put in hooks into everyone's email address so he could monitor when he learned he was going to be fired. So for about a month, because of person B being pretty incompetent, 
this individual had access to every single email that had been sent through the company. Yep. Pretty, pretty ridiculous, right? And once again, this is not like a funny story. This is not ha-ha. This is just the absolute ridiculousness of dealing with, well, people. A couple of more stories. These are more funny slash light-hearted ones. One, I was at a friend's house upgrading his PC. I can use names on this because he's not going to get upset. And he said to me, Paul, I, you know, something's just wrong with my PC recently. It's just not running right. It's just, it's shut down a couple of times, like just doink. Just like no warning, just shut down. So it's getting a bit old anyway. Let's just upgrade. It's around the time that the Core 2 Duos were normal. These were like the regular PC specs. Cool. Okay. So I build the PC that was going to be kind of the new one. Uh, I, I basically, I put in the components minus the hard drives and the optical media and that type of stuff and just checked that it runs. It did. And he said he had two hard drives in the other PC, his old PC. One was like a slow system drive. The second was a faster hard drive, which he had data on. He said he didn't want to keep the C drive anymore, but he did want some files from that, so can I just transfer them over? The easiest way, of course, to do that is pretty damn obvious. Either copy them to the D drive, or you just use a USB uh, drive. Well, his D drive was completely full, which is another reason he wanted to do an upgrade, so I was going to use a USB drive. Not too difficult, right? Very simple. So I turned on the PC, and I you know, leave it to start copying. And I'm thinking, okay, I came back in and the PC's just turned off. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Uh, turn it back on. It's absolutely fine. Like, the PC starts and I'm copying over the the, the, um, the files from the C drive to this uh, USB hard drive, which I think was like E or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So I'm copying it over and I'm just sitting on his bed. As I said, this is quite a while ago. Sitting on his bed not really paying attention to much, to be honest. And suddenly, I, I I could swear I smell something. Like, just, what the hell? That doesn't smell right. And suddenly, there's this bang. And his PC, the power supply, just explodes. Um, like, literally a flame just shoots out the back. And it's a cheap power supply. It's one of those really cheap, nasty power supplies. Um, so, I'm, like, on the bed, just not sure what to do for a second. Because I don't want to touch the PC in case, you know, electricity is going through the damn thing. And obviously... I don't know if it's going to burst into flames. So I'm like, do I do I switch it off at the mains or what? And I'm like, where the hell is the mains? I, I have no idea where his power line is because obviously it's not my house. And unfortunately, the power plug to the PC is like rooted behind like desks and stuff. So good luck to me, Paul. Get Good luck trying to get hold of that. So just as this happens, Stuart walks into the room and sees me essentially like on the bed like with a massive wide-eyed look of like oh dear this is not good and he's like oh my god oh my god oh my god and he almost drops the food he managed to put it down that he he was getting for us and anyway he's like scrambling at the back trying to turn off the power so that was a pretty good one last story this one's just ridiculous not so much funny just absolutely ridiculous of dealing with it with friends go around a friend's house a friend of a friend actually and he'd been complaining to my friend that he had no audio. He said he didn't understand what was happening. He had audio just that morning. And this afternoon, he had nothing. Literally, he just stopped working. He said, I've turned the speakers on. The speakers are definitely on. You know, Windows is telling me it's playing. I don't understand it. Help me. Now, bear in mind, this is quite a long while ago. This is back in the day. Uh, we're talking like Windows. I think he was on Windows ME. So, the first thing I did when I got there, of course, was make sure, yep, the speakers are turned on. Now, to be fair, the speakers do not have any light on them at all. They are one of the old desktop speakers. We're talking like 90s slash early 2000s. They're nasty. And I think, what the hell? Okay. So, make sure the drive is installed. Windows is telling me they're installed. <sighs> what the hell? So... I'm here just looking at this thing, like twiddling the volume knob, thinking, okay, is there something wrong with that? No. What the hell is going on? So I said, dude, do you have um, like any headphones? No, I don't have headphones on me. He said, uh, mine actually broke a couple of weeks ago. Funnily enough, he said, I haven't actually had time to go to the store and pick some up. 
This is way before internet shopping was normal, of course. Um, I said, well, do you have any other speakers? Just, you know, as a double test. He said, no. Nah. He said, I do, but they're in the other room and they're pretty huge. He said, I don't understand how it could be the speakers anyway. They were working absolutely fine earlier. I said, okay, well, they're plugged in, right? He said, of course, like, you know, the whole desk and everything is identical. So anyway, I'm still plugging away, plugging away, like, okay, what the hell? The the audio tells me it's fine. Obviously, at this point, I've gone through everything. I've reinstalled the drivers, made sure that it's not muted to any other system. Try, you get the idea. Anyway, continue and continue and continue. I've been on this for about 15, 20 minutes now, and I expected to have been done in five. Anyway, after a while, I decide, okay, I'm going to make sure that the audio is definitely 100% plugged in to the back of the PC. Tried that. Tried it from the front to the, uh, sorry, the rear port to the front port. Still nothing. At this point, there's obviously one of two things. Either A, the speakers are, are balked, God knows how, or the second, somehow, his sound card is balked. So I think, well, I don't understand how it can just suddenly stop working. Like, you know, speakers, they they don't really go wrong that often. Maybe somehow or another he's blown his audio card, but I don't see how. It's not like, you know, it's not like he's a gamer or doing anything that special. And the PC's fairly, you know, it looks fine. So... I am tempted at this point, because the sound card is not part of the motherboard, it's like a separate one. I am tempted just to take out the sound card, make sure that, you know, it's seated properly. But I don't see how that's going to do anything, but, you know, it never hurts. But just beforehand, I thought, I'm going to just make sure that those speakers are plugged in. So I'm, like, trying to pull out his desk, and he said, why are you doing that? Like, trust me, they're plugged in. I was like, he's like, they were, they were plugged in this morning. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I've got nothing else to try. So maybe it could be the plug. Maybe it's like just slightly pulled out or maybe like the, the fuse is blown. So if you've got a spare fuse, we can try that. You get the idea. Anyway, no, 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 they weren't plugged in. Apparently his wife had, for whatever reason, I mean, to be fair, it could have been someone else, but he, he thinks it was his wife, had unplugged them for an additional power connector in that room for i don't know whether it was for vacuuming or whether it was for like a disco light i don't know but anyway uh so i wasted about maybe 20 25 minutes of my time pretty much because someone unplugged the uh speakers pulled the desk out to unplug the speakers then put the desk back and did not plug the speakers back in so that was fun that was uh that was that was a, that was an experience with all of that said, um, that's about it for my stories. At least for now, I've got a crap ton more, as you can probably imagine. But do email me. Uh, email me your funny things. That's, once again, stories at redgamingtech.com. With that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.